Hello and welcome back to Heroes of the Veil. We had a little bit of hiatus and now we have TJ Storm back, which is very ah! exciting. He's been on his <laughs> European vacation with the rest of the Griswolds, I'm sure. Uh, he is playing King <laughs> Dana Pratt. We have Hope, Le sorry, old school 80s reference. Hope, Hope Lavelle is playing Penelope Half Pie. Anne Bradford is playing Briv the Bunny. Lauren Urban is playing Orkara Eldrex. And Alindra is playing. Uh, well, Jen, <laughs> so, we're just playing, playing cards in Kirk. the courtyard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, previous on, previously on the Heroes of the Veil, vale, uh, it was revealed that uh, Averin, your former uh, partner in Heroes of the Veil, vale, is actually Alindra's father. And you are in the town of Brimstone. <laughs> which is full of smoke and soot. Everyone just watch TJ Storm as he, he slowly absorbs what's actually happening. I'm just going to watch like, TJ oh. during this entire <laughs> recap. This is going to be the best. We I'm watch King. on Rick the Bunny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, so <laughs> this, is, this is a rehash for the audience, not for you, TJ. Um, so uh, every... Went to one of Alindra's former homes growing up as a kid and saw a an Averin seemingly much changed, a bit grumpier with a shaved head and certainly acting a little bit off. Um, while you were there, uh, it was revealed by Averin that attacks were happening all over the multiple cities across the world of Valheim. Uh, the Mind Flayers had risen up out of the oceans and had basically gone after every major settlement uh, that they could find in to attack. The decision was made by the Heroes of the Vale that <laughs> a really good idea would be to contact the Gith Yankee to assist in removing... <clears throat> yep, real mood right there. Uh, <laughs> the Gith Yankee to assist in destroying the Mind Flayers. And so... Dimension gating into Valheim have been red dragons accompanied by a virtual army of Gith Yankee. Welcome back, TJ. <laughs> and that's where we are beginning this episode of Here's the Veil, vale, named The Worm Turns. Oh, All right. I didn't know the title so, the time. <laughs> Uh, everyone is inside at this moment, inside uh, the Bird of Doom, the Raven Inn, as it were, uh, right now. Uh, Walton, who is Penelope Half Pint's tiny little Chewinga companion, uh, is still nursing a hangover and drinking lots of water and orange juice and desperately craving bacon uh, with a, a ferocious desire at this point. And uh, on occasion, attempting to, to ride on top of Battle Flow. Um, the flump. Uh, and they seem to be getting along quite well, if not unusually. So, uh, what are the heroes of the Vale doing at this moment? There are tons of Githyanki essentially marching down the streets of Brimstone. And at this exact moment, there is a whir and a rush, and wind starts moving around, and you see suddenly leaves where leaves shouldn't be in a bar. And you feel all of your ears pop as suddenly King Deopreth appears in all his splendor in the middle of this dingy bar. <laughs> Happy Eva Summer. I give my little friend a hug. And why is there an army marching through this? Why are they all wearing the same kind of armor as I am? Oh, shit. I take <laughs> my cape and I cover my armor and I wander into the inn. <laughs> well, the good news is we actually have time to tell him what we've been up to. The bad news is we have to tell him everything we've been up what to. we've been up to, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, it's good to see you. To. What is going on? This Why have you been does gone not so look long? like a good thing. Yeah. Uh, there was a very prolonged tour through many realms where they did not speak a common tongue. Oh. Well, 
the red caps did not kill you, so that's a good thing. Uh, a demigod, perhaps? The red caps are always a problem. But why are there so many warriors in the streets? Well, so there was the Kraken. Huh? And then you there were the mind flares. And then we have. Or we can keep going forward. And then there was the city destruction. <laughs> and there was the um, portal we took to. And uh, the man. And the, the, what? Uh, hmm. Uh. Oh, Didst thou this. write it in thine journal? Because perhaps we can just give it to Keen in written form. I did. I did hear. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Well, while, while he's reading, um, we have all these gifts, uh, gifts everywhere, and um, oh. <laughs> Total and complete. A kraken. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. They healed it. The Githyanki are here as our allies to stop the mind flayers. I'm sorry. That is could the you main back thing up? that thou shouldst know. Did someone know. say that you healed the kraken? Yes. No, we they, tried. They, that was they, like they, weeks ago. It was a creature. That was like in yesterday. In so much pain. Or whatever. It, it was. That's irrelevant <laughs> at this moment in time, Keen. What do I need to know today? Mind flayers are Mind bad. Mind flayers eating brains. Yeah. Gith Yankee well, are our friends that will stop them. <sighs> okay. Mind flayers bad. Gith Yankee yes. good. At this moment, you hear well, allies, and there's a red it's dragon. Be better than no help. Uh, dragons. Excuse me. Would you like a Would you like a drink? And there's this tiny mind flare walking on its own tentacles from its mouth, the size of a gnome, and it's holding a tray with shot glasses. My I are bad pour this my glaive this out is... of. No 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 Do it. Do it now. Andrew, this might be the part where you tell Keen about your family. I fear that's not so nice. We could talk about that later. Well, I mean, glaives and this this my fair is a ninja sister. Yeah. Yes. I put my glaive back. So that's and a note to the her father. So that's the note to the shots, right? Okay. I would take one, please. Or two okay. or three. Yeah, me too. And then we just Uh so Riff, what's going on with the gift? They are here to destroy the mind flayers. But there are no mind flares here. They have to have a place to call their headquarters. And this is as good as any. Are we going on an Go adventure? Uh, you hear the sound of glass all that breaking. Certain. From the back room, you hear a sudden crash, a thud, and you hear glass shatter. <laughs> Running towards it. We're going on that adventure right now, and I'll follow Penelope. <laughs> uh, you you go I'm into the back room. I'm looking for any excuse not to have to have the conversation I think I'm going to have to have, so let's it's go! Just some drunk. Call me uh, if you need me. You. Okay, so who's going into the room? Okay. <laughs> uh, I would walk. Penelope, half find Alindra and Orkara, you see. Uh, You see what is basically like a large, kind of like a checkboard and all kinds of weird incantations written on it. And you see Averin on the ground with blood coming out of his ears, unconscious. And I run no, down. No, no, no. no. Okay, I yeah. do something. Well, yep, yep. It's, it's, a fair amount. It's, it's probably Why a is there blood coming out of his ears? 
it happens. It's all right. Um, and I start examining him. I mean, you've uh, seen him die at least twice. Yeah, yeah, you've seen him die a few times. Um, <laughs> go ahead and roll a perception check. Uh, 22. 22? Um, mm-hmm. As you're examining Avern, he looks incredibly pale. You've mm-hmm. uh, never actually seen blood necessarily come out of his ears like this. Uh, and he's got one of his rings that he typically wears is a ring of regeneration. And it is glowing white hot around his finger. So is the typical path with this, I let him go and the ring kicks in and he comes back? Or... No, it's a typical ring of regeneration. It, it, it appears It'll, he'll to your eyes that it is working over time. Okay. Can, if I examine him, can I tell what's caused this? Uh, Yeah, you can. Make a medicine check. Or? Ooh. Uh, it's a 26. Oh Ooh. my god. Wow. I rolled a 19. Uh, I rolled really well. His entire right inner drum has completely per- perforated. And you can almost see inside to his skull. Was this from an a- attack? Looks like something burrowed into him. Is that a mind flare? I'm going to turn his oh, head boy. a little bit and look at Alindra and be like, ah, Mm, this, this is bad. This is really bad. Um, I don't know. Do I think, do we think, do we think like the little thing, the mind flayer things? They haven't I don't know, but yet. if I we've caught it quick have... enough, can I do something to get it out? Do I know anything about how you would go about that? You don't. Yeah, this is, this is all this is fairly new there are like lots of like crazy weird writings all over his office like you you saw when you initially came in um but if there is a you know a a mind flare uh tadpole basically eats the brain of its host and then takes complete control and replaces the brain so it could be that the ring of regeneration is actually preempting its attempt Okay, then we're going to keep that on him. Can anyone speak to his mind? I mean, I can. But I'm trying to think if there's a... After is our... There... Is after there our discussion... um... You know what? I am... Um... Can I see the tadpole at all? You see something wiggling out. If you look through the hole in his ear, which is quite disgusting, you think you can see something possibly moving. I will point at it. And as much as I did not want to foresee this moment, I have foreseen this moment. Okay. I will cast command. (laughs) Depart. Okay. And what, I, what's I the... use one of my. I have a what's... four and a six as my uh, my portents for the day, so I will burn the four on its save. Man, if anyone wants just to be a god functionally, become a divine wizard. <laughs> <laughs> like just. Uh, I'm not complaining. That's not a complaint. But seriously, I had a terrible a thought wizard. that I'm not going to say until after this is resolved. But. <laughs> You can I don't want to give yourself. any ideas, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> you okay? Well, it succeeds. Um, so it the tadpole, the tiny little front claws and a big gaping toothy mouth. Actually, the claws aren't even there. You just see the little tendrils coming out of its toothy maw, and it's also got like layers and layers of like flaps where its mouth is, and it squiggles immediately out. Paper flame. I take reason out of my pack and I smash it into a pulp. Well, Leave my family act- alone. I go to cast right. sacred flame, That's and cool. then I see her doing this, and I'm like, uh, "Nope, she needs to do this. This is nope." Brew nope. walks in about that time. <laughs> and just stares, doesn't say anything. 
I pick up my you see, I pick as you up walk in, you everyone's like around Avrin. Avrin looks dead, and then a worm comes out and just like looks at Briv and just goes, <laughs> and then gets smashed to bits. Yeah, and then uh, Linda starts uh, smacking it. Uh, Linda, I need you to roll damage. Um. I missed you guys. <laughs> I missed you too. I missed you too. Do I need to roll the hit or? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, I don't hit. <laughs> oh, then Sacred Flame. Nope, if I see so you miss. Are, as you're like, it's just like boom, boom, boom. And so it's wiggling super fast. And just looking at you like perturbed, as perturbed as a small tadpole can look at you. And just starts swiggling down. Sacred flame. Trying to worm its way under the under the uh, floorboards. No, nope, if the flame nope. does not destroy it, I will cover it with a shot glass. Oop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, it needs to make a dex uh, dexterity saving throw DC fifteen. Most definitely did not. Awesome. Want damage? Go ahead and roll your damage. Uh... A flame erupts around it. It starts screeching horribly and hurts almost everyone's ears. It almost like penetrates to your mind, the your mind itself as it's doing so. That's eleven radiant damage. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> uh, it is definitely burnt. Uh, Keen, what are you doing? Cover it with a shot glass. Oop. Okay. Yeah, uh, you cover it with a shot glass. And you just see it wiggling now, in the shot glass. Now I, I, are we in initiative order or? Uh, let's do round robin. Uh, <laughs> let's let's go, uh, Penelope half fight. Penelope has covered Avrin's ears to protect it from going back in. <laughs> oh, that's all she's doing. <laughs> I've got you, Avrin. I've got you. Aww. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> and you can see immediately that his ears are healing up. Oh. Um, what is Briv Stillmeyer doing? Staring in disgust. <laughs> <laughs> what the devil is going on? And that's all he says. Now, I remember how this went with the undead. And I'm wondering if it's going to go the same way here. Oh, I'm willing to give it a shot. I'm going to mind spike it. All right, adventure takes a turn. Oh. <laughs> go ahead, mind spike. Uh, you take it every time. Third, mind spike. Third level. <laughs> no. So it's not going to How much damage is that? Me. I'm sorry. Uh, go, on, go uh, ahead. So What's on the save? third level, it needs to make a wisdom save. Yep. And then it will be at third level. I'm going to do four d8 damage. What is the wisdom save? I got a fifteen. Fifteen is the save. Oh shit! Okay, sorry. I mean, uh, shoot. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it saves. What happens when it saves? Uh, if it saves, it does. If it'll save, uh, it will take half the damage. So it'll okay. take two. Fifteen. So it'll take... It's going to take six damage. And it does not, I don't tap into its location, mind, okay. stuff. All right. Yeah, you do the damage, and it's still, suddenly as you do so, the shot glass explodes. And you can see that it is actually rapidly growing. And it is now the size of a small dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Um... And... It is going like after so Okira. <laughs> a wormo dog. Oh, he's so cute. This was. It spits acid out of its mouth directly at Okira. Okira, you take fifteen points of acid damage. Ah.
Are we? We're just trying to kill this thing, right? <laughs> I mean, what do you? My command might still be working on it. Kill too. it! it kill it now! Fire. All right, I'm gonna kill it with fire. Uh, I I'm gonna oh. maneuver myself nearby so that I can do a 15 foot cone. Uh, without getting any of my friends, I'm actually do, gonna do burning hands. So it needs to make a okay. dexterity saving throw DC 15. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, what was the saving throw? Uh, D dex, uh, DC 15. It got a 16 and it's a minus two. Oh, it rolled okay. an 18. Uh, it's gonna still take half damage. Uh, so it's gonna take a total of five fire damage. All right, it takes fire f five points of fire damage. It is like hideously angry. It's now taking radiant damage, psychic damage, fire damage. It is I mean, it's not that it was a pretty worm to begin with, but now it is an extremely angry worm, and it keeps on bulking up and shedding skin at the same time, getting larger and larger. At this point, it's the size of a medium-sized dog. Um, let's go ahead and roll initiative so we do this properly, shall we? Dean, that's the thing we're we're trying to destroy. That's the thing. Hey, God. Noted. An eight. I got a nine. I got a nine. I got one more than it got. I got Tyler. a nine. <laughs> what? Three nines? Nine, let me, nine, let me nine. go first. Are Guys. we the second yeah, mighty Keen nine? is way more dexy than I am. <laughs> uh, okay. Riv... Or Kira. And who's the other nine? Keen. Nine. Keen. And who is. Okay, uh, what were you, Hope? Uh, 17. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unexpected. And who's after. Uh, what were you, Alindra? 12. 12. Okay. All right. Hope, what are you doing? I'm a druid. Everything I'm gonna do is gonna kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh gosh! I'll make friends right. with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, how big is this thing now? Uh, it is the size of a medium dog at this point? A very long purplish and blue worm. Okay. Um, I am going to um. All right, I'm going to say, it takes one to know one, and I'm going to cast Infestation on it. <laughs> I'm going to take out a flea, and I'm going to throw it, and it's just going to erupt into a bunch of bugs covering it. So oh. uh, it needs to Because this couldn't a... get any grosser. Oh. Boy, that didn't much it. It's my only small move. Uh, it's going to take a 1d6 poison damage against a constitution 14 saving throw. And oh it's God. going to take... I need a d4. It's going to move... Oh, wow. It failed with a plus 5. Okay. All and right. it's going to move uh, 5 feet west because the little bugs are underneath. They go... Psh, psh, psh. <laughs> okay. Uh, go, go and tell me what the damage is. It's moving west. <laughs> So it's ooh, four points of poison damage. Four points of poison damage. All right. All right. Now we've got uh, coming up, we've got, and we're getting close to the nines, but it's Alindra. Alindra, what are you doing? I look at it. We've done this once before, and it worked. Polymorph. I will <laughs> turn it into a. Hmm. None of these fleas are on it. I will turn it into a rat. Okay. Have some way oh, to hold it. What's the saving it. throw on I that? Uh, <sighs> it is going to be a wisdom 15. The medium sized worm turns into a tiny rat. Yes! <laughs> And as my move, I'm going to go move into a place where I can make sure I am holding it in place. I want to make sure we don't lose track of it, that we can keep it contained. Okay, yeah. Also, as a result of its moving, like to make an attack of opportunity if it is moving away from me? 
It does not. I have a center node with a pole arm. Um, yes, as a result you... of Penelope's ability. Uh, roll Arcana, however. <laughs> I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Wow, okay. You know that if a creature is polymorphed and is uh, d- done damage to, it will come out of that polymorph. I stop. <laughs> <laughs> You you vaguely you suddenly have a flashback to your lessons in the Feywild about combat and fighting things that were polymorphed, and you you remember that, well, essentially your Feywild version of pers- you know Professor Snape telling you don't ever attack something that's been polymorphed <laughs> into something that is weaker. I go find a bigger glass. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you are we trying to restrain? How are we restraining? We are all out of, out of combat essentially. The rat is very confused. It now has the intelligence of a rat as well. Briv's so looking like, around. I'm sure sh- Avern's a weird guy. I'm sure there are like cages everywhere, right? Yeah, <laughs> those type of cages. Yeah, yeah. There's like cages, like bird cages, and <laughs> there's not like go go dancing cages or no, anything I mean, like that. It's in a cage. I need a, I need a rat cage. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a rat cage, man. <laughs> I mean, everybody's I'm like got turning one of those red in their back room, right? <laughs> um, there, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're trying to find the, the rat cage. Is there a crate of some sort? There's, there's definitely a cage. He, he, uh, you all can find various cages. Um, they're okay. they're, they're That's empty. A terribly long time, so we should deal with this. How long do we have? In an advantageous manner, an hour. I'm grabbing my now we need my to deal pack. With How I'm, does yeah. one deal with this, Alindra? Emptying, yeah, I'm emptying the contents out on Avern's desk because there's only a couple things in it, and I am going to funk my pack on top of the rat. A rat pack. On top, okay, so you've got your I pack just... on top of the rat. Yes. You found uh, several <laughs> still. Wire cages as well. <laughs> and so I'm just, I'm going to hold it still <laughs> so that it doesn't it try to run away. Just, it's, I'm neither, I mean, but sure. I mean, really, it, it depends on your mood, really, for real. <laughs> so, uh, or Kira, let's real light, okay? in the cage where we can still see it. Do we uh, still have okay, the bag so, where that uh, made up person is? No, we don't. You don't. You left that in Avernus. Yeah. Why would we leave? Oh, we didn't leave it in Avernus. <laughs> <laughs> the the castle it was buried in got destroyed in Avernus. Yeah. So I'll put my pack over the rat, and then I'll use the pack to grab it, so I don't actually have to touch it. And all right, come here, come here, come here. And I'll like use the pack to push this rat into the cage, so I don't have to. Okay. I don't want to touch it. This thing all right, you, unnerves you, you, me. You, you, you do so. Um, you scurry no, no, no. right into the bag. I suppose that uh, we could have one of our flying friends take it very high up in the air and drop it. Perhaps. No, don't do that. It's just a little rat. No, it's not. Despite all its rage, it's still in a cage. Just oh, a rat in the it. cage. Don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can fly it high. Spiral and I can make that journey, but will it not just simply bounce, come out of its form, and then still just be on the ground? Because to tell thee the truth, that could happen even to me. Well, we I got have a little bit of time. Relentless freeze endurance. Do we freeze it. Do we? I I don't. I don't know how to fight these. Well, the last one we fought, well, we just kind of pummeled to death. Oh, we, so. we've got an yes, army of Yankees way. sitting right outside. Yes, the you kids see, know how to, to fight them. Averin put his hands on the ground and start to try to stand up. No, 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 no. Da, da, I'll help that, that, that. Stay. Stay down. You're... His eyes are like uh-huh. completely gold, orangish, Halloween yellow. Even uh, okay? No, I don't, I don't, I, I don't. Stay put. I don't, Please. I don't, Sophia, I don't remember what the Thacko is of that thing. I, I don't remember anything. And like just slumps against the wall. <laughs> is 
he okay? <laughs> no, he's he's obviously talking nonsense. He's, uh, who, would, who would even mention something so archaic? He's like, I'm put nonsense. Up it's fine, he's fine. <laughs> he like looks up at Brith. You are the most beautiful orc I have ever seen. Aye. This man speaks truth. Oh, Ephraim. This is a bit weird. Don't worry, Dad. You can bend balls and lift gates later. Is he drunk? Um, it, it, when he heals, it sometimes makes him a little um, miscombobulated. What if there's Who's another maester inside of him? We better check. Penelope's like trying to like reach his ear to like look inside. I, think, no, but, uh, I don't think they can. Shall I take this system. little? No one touch my brain. My brain out to the Yankees outside. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. I'm used to hearing that, but yes, okay, let's go. Do you uh, you hand the rat the, the the rat in the bag to 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 Briv? Uh, uh, so well, Brett, what, are pushed, you, what are you doing? I pushed it into the cage that he was holding. I was just using the okay, bag. Okay, so, so now it's just, in a bag. Still in a cage. just a rat in the cage. No, no, yes, I got my yeah. bag back. I just I want my bag back. No, yeah. bags. All right, fine. Bags in the cage. Rat in the bag in the cage. Multiple we layers. Take it to the githa. Was that your favorite? I want thing? my bag back. Indeed. And you're done. You can yeah, have mine. Well. She hands you her like spider web bag. <laughs> I have no oh. need of bags. What is going on with all the bags? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you, Briv Stomero, have been handed a bag that is inside of a cage that has a rat inside of that. What are you going to do with the rat in that? <laughs> I shall take it to the Gith Yankee, whichever right, you one walk... I talked to last time. Uh, you can you start you walk out the bar and you open the door and you see several of the Gith Yankee marching. And there is one in particular that you did not speak to, but this one is clearly the one in charge. His name is, well, his his title is Githrak Voss. Uh, hail you there, no nose. I have something for thee. You might want to work on your manners. What do you have? People told me that my entire life, and it has never caused me a single problem. So I am not you sure no what life you are left. getting at. What is in the bag? In the cage? There's a rat that our wizard polymorphed that was a worm that was going to turn someone into a mind flayer, the creatures that thou art here to slay. All right. Um, thank you. We will have it eliminated. Very well. Ascended. And for the matter of payment. Payment? We I are the kid, ones here helping I you. I have no need of money. Okay. Right then. Very well. Uh, I, I, Captain, sir. Uh, right. Okay. These humans are so weird. <laughs> you won't beg. And you walk back in? Yes. Okay, you walk back in. Uh, no. Averin is still stumbling around. He's. Oh, you, I, you would appear cross eyed, but his back. eyes are still yellow. Oh. <laughs> ah. Hmm. I guess I'll have to get another bag. But Penelope, I'll bar you, bar you, you don't mind wait, me borrowing. Sorry, bag. no. You want the oh. bag back now. Uh, okay. Is this the no. normal process for him coming back to himself? No, he's super dingy. Or Kira, the Gith Yankee, would not give me the bag back. I apologize. I, I appreciate you trying. It's all right. And I'll be let me her bag. It'll be fine. I certainly tried. I did not forget. <laughs> Yeah, Linda, uh, is your dad okay? Avrin looks horribly drunk, almost kind of like he's drunk, and um, you can see like some coherence starting to like reform in his brain, and but his eyes are still this kind of Halloween orange, and you've not seen, you don't remember seeing that before, but it feels familiar, so maybe it's a distant memory of your father having those type of eyes. 
Alindra! Um, when did you get here? You're all grown up. You look so beautiful. And he just gives you a hug? I, I hug him back. Dad? Yes? Uh, what were you doing? What's the last thing you remember? I was just, um... Let me think. And he just snaps his fingers and you're uh, all, everything disappears around all of you. You are in. Uh, You're now outside. You're in a a fjord and there's snow and ice all around. High above you see sunlight and there's this large water inlet and you feel the cold air and the breeze on your skin. And you see the small little stone cottage. At the same time, you see this uh, beautiful elven woman with long red hair holding a staff with green gems seemingly just floating in the staff, um, just sitting on a beached log, uh, looking out over the beautiful landscape. At the same time, you see Averin, much younger, with a large, strangely ornate axe chopping wood. By the the water, amongst the stones and the beach, uh, you see this tiny little hut. And uh, you hear this voice from this elven woman. It's way past her bedtime. She needs to go to bed. It's midnight. And you hear everyone say, "It well, the sun is technically up, so I don't know if that really applies. She's exactly as stubborn as you are. He, she gets that <laughs> entirely from you. Uh, and then Averin says, well, she's wonderful and beautiful, and she gets all that from you, clearly. So uh, that's, I guess, your fault, too. Uh, he walks over to the, the tiny hut by the beach and just kind of, like, knocks on it. Uh... Lindy, are you coming out? And it all no. just <laughs> disappears. And you're back in the bar. That's... Did we all see that? Yes, all of you were there. Uh... <laughs> Lindy. <laughs> Cute. Thou art Lindy. <laughs> Tis my name. Do not wear it out. That was kind Is of that... I was. <laughs> is, is is that the last thing you remember? Because that was over a hundred years ago. Let me think again. And he snaps his fingers and <clears throat> you're in another bar and you see just tons of huge people like kind of like Averin. Averin's always been kind of a big guy and Averin's uh well, looks like he's 15 years old now. Um He's got a modest beard compared to all the other Viking-looking men in this longhouse. And long, ornately carved... The men have long, ornately, you know, twisted beards with little beads in in them and tattoos on the sides of their heads. They've all well-armored. They're clearly all just... They're getting into fights for fun. And it's just kind of... just just smells horribly of mead, the sweet alcohol, and there's a big fire pit in the center. And he's at a table, and he's having a very frank discussion with someone across from the table. And you hear Averin say, so let me get this straight. You are going to give me a wish for my soul. And the man at the other side of the table says, yes. 
That seems very undervalued to me. I, I, I think I'd like my soul. And the man at the other side of the table whose sharp, pointy mustache and goatee, uh, dressed all in black and holding a scepter, say, well, it's not really worth that much. I wouldn't, I wouldn't overvalue that. And you're not probably even going to miss it. Avon replies, so, so basically, I ask for a wish, you take my soul, I get whatever I want. What if you don't wish? What if the wish, you decide not to give it to me? And he's like, I, I don't think that would ever happen. And Avon slowly smiles. And you're back at the bar. Just to be clear, during that exchange, I didn't want to interrupt you. But Briv absolutely would have tried to touch the food that was there. Did that oh. work? Oh. <laughs> uh, yes. What did you what What did you want to grab? I uh, I mean meat, obviously. But um, so it would be you, meat of some you sort. You grabbed a, an entire leg of deer, and it's still in your hand. Okay. Ah. Oh. Uh. And Alindra turns and all of the blood drains out of her face. Do we need to stop asking your dad to remember things? How did you do that, yeah. Briff? I don't know. It was free food in the little memory journey we oh, just took. Maybe we oh, can Briff. grab oh, Avery. Oh, what, what just happened? What's wrong? I bit the deer. Uh, Lindra, I remember when when your entire race was a class. It was weird times. <laughs> What's a class? He's, I'm gonna he's... walk over to Avery and I'm gonna examine the hole in his ear into his head. Is this something I could heal? Is this something I can now that the thing is oh. out? Uh, yeah, the, it look... it, it's it, no, it's completely healed up. Mm. But what what's in his head is probably slowly re regrowing right at, as you are talking to him. Okay, so this isn't something that like a cure wounds could fix quicker, so that we don't end up in the weird fast dream thing again. See if yeah. he could do it again. I am in need of ale. <laughs> <laughs> I have half a mind to let them have you, Grace. I think he has half a mind right now. Yeah, I would like him to have a whole mind. Slap Briff. <laughs> wow. Okay. I take it unaffected. <laughs> and I go back. Didst thou hurt thine hand? I feel like we fight each other more than we fight bad guys now. Uh, are you really doing this? Oh, I do not want to get into this with you right now. Alindra, dude, what should I do something do? with your dad before he sends us somewhere yes, else? Please heal him. Please heal him. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a cure wounds. Let's give this a try. Okay, go and roll it. All right, uh, that's gonna be uh, eight brain hit points back. I don't know. She just puts her hand on the side of Avrin's head and heals whatever she can. I don't know. Uh. Okay. I can't fix his mind, but maybe eight, I can fix eight his brain. points of damage. You you heal eight points of damage to his brain, and there is a shockwave that comes out of his head. And immediately, if anyone has sustained any damage, everyone else gets four points of hit points back as well. If not, they have Ooh. four temporary hit points just wash over you. Oh, temporary. Um, okay. I've never done that before. That's weird. <laughs> Oh, and good. again, you snap back for one second. You're back in the inn. Everyone can see. Everyone can walk around. And and Avrin's sitting across from this weird figure with a pointy beard, and says, "I wish that no one knew who you are, and will never remember who you are." And you just the figure. On the other side of the table, eyes just glow fiery red with anger. Briv, are you grabbing any food? 
Probably not after hearing that, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I want a good, a good look of this person's face. If he has any insignias on him, something to remember him by, something to study another time. I want to know who he was before he was undone. Uh, he's, like I said, he has a pointy, long mustache and goatee. His eyes, as you, like, closer examine, the illusion kind of fails. Uh, roll an intelligence save. With investig- Actually, roll an intelligence check with investigation. Just an investigation check. I'm sorry, that's my Pepsi talk. Uh, 18. Wow, you roll an 18 and you realize there is some kind of artifice, some kind of illusion covering the man that he's talking to, and you realize his eyes are completely jet black, and you see two tiny horns on his forehead. He's clearly something infernal. <laughs> My daddy beat the devil. Everyone's still drinking and cheering and laughing. Does anyone notice us? Like if I look yeah. around, one 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 man with a long blonde beard and hair is like, ah, a dragon. Welcome. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> uh, dragon, dragon born. Yeah, no, I. I Linda, are we supposed to... Yeah, if this is just a memory, does that mean we can do anything we want? You're changing his memories. Oh, Changing that's... for the good. And I take a well, flagon no. and... And you have to understand, my father is not mortal. You are uh, you drinking a flagon of ale. the is... memories. The gods are here. Briv is the best the tasting gods? ale you have ever had in your entire life. And you hear, this... suddenly you see all these kind of Norse Viking men like going, oh, he's here. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming down the road. He's going to come into the inn. Everybody's coming to the inn. And they grab Briv by the shoulder. He's coming into the inn. Get ready. Get ready to throw, throw something. And, and they, they grab him. All right. Everyone. He comes in. Just, just everything. Just attack him. So is a surprise Hilarious. party? Oh, a uh, surprise party. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love those. Right then. The weird this, thing this, is, this... when you're here, Alindra looks really different. Um, in the regular world, she's her hair is blue and her, you know, her skin is almost like marble. And here, um, she looks a little bit more like Averin and uh, the woman you saw in the other dream. Her hair is is red. And her her skin is is more um, ruddy and tan than it, it is in the real world. Uh, it's different when she's in this in this place in Avern's memory. Uh, you see all of these characters take out swords, spears, axes. And they're all getting ready and they're all laughing and most of them are pretty drunk. <laughs> all right. He's coming. Three. Two. <laughs> Door opens. They all scream. Surprise! Father! And they throw spears and axes and and and, th and uh, they even throw their swords and they all clamor and hit this one man all in the face and the crotch and everything that is like pummel him and he's like ha ah, ah, ah. he takes no wounds he gets knocked over <laughs> onto the ground he's like that's great guys yeah this never gets this never gets old I love it thanks I think he was surprised and he waves Wonder, through the weapons <laughs> like you're wave like you're wading through used clothes on the floor of your living room <laughs> like he's just like yep not cutting me Super fun, guys. Great. Linda, who's Can we that? get past this? Who, who is it? Uh, they all screamed Balder. Uh. Uh, that would be Balder. What's a Balder? Who's that? Looks like he has plenty of hair. 
Uh, it does have plenty of hair, it's true. What's a you, not an E. A little bit different. That was a fun prank. That was a fun prank, right? It was good. It was a good prank. Maybe five or six in, as thou art. Andrew, do we need to be worried about what we're How much doing in? here? I... Probably, yes. Okay. How do we get out? I don't like interfering in other people's memories. No, especially when we're just trying to heal him and now we're here. Especially seeing you seem so angry that Briv has eaten that deer. At that Perhaps moment, you see... She is a vegetarian. Uh, the devilish character leans slowly towards Avrin, and you feel almost like the whole area around him grow dark and sinister, and with a voice much affected and changed. Fine. You get one wish. What is it? And Avon just kind of grins. I wish to never be forgotten. And <laughs> you're all back in the the inn. Okay. Rev, you're still holding uh, a cup of ale. <laughs> Not for I'm long. For, I'm just waiting for it to happen again. Bad. Yeah? What's up? Why are you showing us these things? Can oh, we I go to you. an amusement park next? Alundra, when did you get so tall? You're so tiny normally, because you're under, aren't you just like 10? He's not caught up yet. There's, there's going to be more. Yes. Should, should we leave? Is this? I I'm going to be crying until like um, I'm going to I'm going to put us in a tiny hut because I think that's the only way to keep us protected and make sure this isn't getting out to the rest of the world, maybe. Okay. Go and cast tiny hut. Yeah. Start there and see what we can do. Um, uh, you, you, you cast Tiny Hut and Avon laughs. You made me cast this spell every single day. You love this spell. Oh my god. Like It was every, every morning, first thing. You're like, Dad, cast Tiny Hut. I want a Tiny Hut of my own. Cast Tiny Hut. <laughs> it's adorable. Little Lindy. Yeah, that's what we called her. Those were good times. They were. Who are all of you? Wait, you're her dad. I am still trying to catch up, and now I am up to speed, oh. and I am trying to understand you are related to her, and we are watching yes. the memories. That is yes. correct? Yes. Keen, this is my father. Oh. Oh, I'm not right, am I? I'm not right. No. Something's wrong. Yes. Yeah. It's Although I'm not certain the answer if, to that if question Lindy's older has ever than, been yes. If, if Lindy's older, then, um... Okay, what happened to me? Something's happened. A mind oh flare got inside of you. I remember. Eight oh, half-line brain. Yeah, but that was... Thousands of years ago. No, it just happened. But we got it out. It's a rat now. Yeah. She did that I, too. I have to fix it. I have to fix everything. How? How? You're, you're not caught up yet. No, it was, it was my, it's my fault, but it's not my fault. I remember everyone. I remember everything they did. What they did to me and everyone else. I have to bring them all back. You maybe you want to lay yes. maybe lay down and take a rest or something until wh yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'd like to sleep. That's why we we made the diamond mind. 
It was just going to take so much to bring everyone back. Diamond line. The diamond line? I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to sleep now. I don't feel so good. Make sure you say hi to your mom. She misses you. Gosh. If he... If he dreams while he is in this state, this could get very uh, unpleasant. Oh. Is there anything to stop that from happening? I've got it right here. <laughs> if I know anything about being concussed, it is that thou art not supposed to sleep. He's I right. get concussed frequently. <laughs> So right. you're saying don't let that's him that's okay that's fair that's totally fair like i'm like mm, medicine check no no checks out nope. <laughs> background um, checks out okay so sleep is a bad idea i i'm going to oh oh geez i'm gonna cast sending send mom a message dad's in a bad way we need your help Do you get a message back? How is he in a bad way? Specifically what you're talking about. Also, how are you, dear? It's a lot to send that. back in ascending. <laughs> um, um... Yeah, Sweetie, I'm concerned. Like, What's happening? I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out how to do the sending. <laughs> Mind Flayer ate his memories in Brimstone. Please help. We're okay. Love you. Alindra. <laughs> now I sign it, Lindy. Uh <laughs> you get a message back I'm on my way it's going to take quite some time whatever you see understand he asked if you wanted to forget what? that's the message what? Meanwhile, we're just next to Abram being like, no, no sleeping. No, just, just like, hang no, out. I'm, I'm Here, fine. have a seat. Hey, Okira, I know you. You're a dragon. How are you been doing? Penelope, you're a bush. Better before you said that. Hey, have a seat. All right, here you go. Sit down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down now. I feel like, God. don't tell me what to sit. I will sit when I want to sit. <laughs> I want to sit I think right you want to sit. Yeah, here we go. Why okay, agreed. Right. Mm. You know who's really judgy? Do you know who's really judgy? Do you, Okara, know who's judgy? Paylor. He is judgy McJudgerton. I don't know. I thought we got along pretty well for a while. Still judgy. I think he is dead. No, he's alive again. We fixed that. Wrong timeline. <laughs> Right timeline. Mean, where hast thou been? In this faraway land, were they civilized? My people are very civilized, but I am curious to see what is to transpire. I get a more comfortable seat and wait for the next episode. <laughs> so, uh, you hear just an explosion? And just screams from outside the bar. Adventure, let's go. No, is this uh, real? I have to stay here to keep him protected. Fine, I'll go. Let's go, right. Penelope. Is is right, that? So wait, is it dream or is it real? What do we know? It feels like real. Yeah, you hear like weird to get thinky screams. Oh, There's no. an entire army outside. No, we should yep. protect <sighs> him. Go, go, go. Nothing can get All right, who's going that. outside? Briv is. Okay, Briv and Penelope have fight. You are the ones going outside the bar. Is everyone else staying inside the inn? 
I will stand watch over Averin for now. Okay. Uh, her hair is torn. Looks at Alindra. Uh, do you... I don't know what to do. You won't leave him. No, no. Do you want me to stay or should I go follow them? I don't know what to do. It's your choice. That's a bad idea. And I'll follow them. I trust you. And run. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh... Or Kira, Penelope, Half Pie, and Briv Stomara, you go outside the inn and someone screwed up, and that rat is now a 20 foot <sighs> Neolithid in the middle of the streets. And you see it literally throw Get the Inky up in the air and just chomp it down. Gurgling it. What did they do? I look How close is anybody? Cra- Krav Maga, or whatever his name was. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Githrak Voss, but okay, yeah, we'll go with Krav Maga. Krav Maga. <laughs> Githrak Voss. Insulted no, on no, many levels. <laughs> uh, Riv does not take notes. <laughs> this is the weirdest so... episode. This is the weirdest episode. All right. <laughs> what what happened? I trusted thee. Someone dropped the rat, okay? How how close? Something done are, right. When we oh, open the door, like how close right is this? Right in thing? front of you. It's just it's, swirling it is just growing exponentially right now. All right. Uh you have to stay here Kira start to get ready to breathe and then she cocks her head in a weird way. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my weakening breath on it. And so I'm gonna uh, breathe. Weakening breath. Yeah. Okay. So this weird like yellow uh, fog comes out, and I need it to succeed on a strength saving throw DC 13. Ooh, wow. This is gonna be a hard for one. It, it, for, a hard one for it not to succeed on. I know. Uh, I know. What was the DC? 13. Yeah. No dice. You just like you just see this yellow cloud just go, and then the neolith it just kind of like swirls through it. <laughs> oh, I hate that! It always tastes so bad. Oh. Uh, I say, say, fine. what are you? I, what I say are you doing? Star under my breath because I'm trying to light my sword up. Okay, Ooh. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Penelope, half point. What are you doing? So, how far away are we from it? Oh, you're pretty close. Okay. About thirty feet. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was dark sounding. I liked it though. <laughs> not dark, not dark. Uh, <clears throat> okay, well, we need to take care of this right now. So let's just do this right. <laughs> moonbeam. <laughs> I'll cast oh Moonbeam on it. What does Moonbeam do? Um, it basically puts a beam of, how to summarize this, it's going to take a 2D to, uh, constitution saving throw against a 14. Uh, it'll take Ooh. 2D10 radiant damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful. Plus five and a gun eight. Failed. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. I think on a failed, okay, da 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 get you changing. It's okay. At the, at the start of its turn, Fine. I think, if it's, if it moves yes. into the square, if it's in the square, uh, mm-hmm. it'll, it'll take, take more damage, damage and then she can choose to move it if she chooses mm-hmm. up to 60 feet so mm-hmm. okay uh go and roll your damage that is ooh 2d10 okay that is ooh 12 points okay radiant it takes 12 points of damage from the moonbeam uh keen you are you you remain behind um Briv, what are you I do doing? charging forward shield okay in front attacking the worm creature as you are um, charging forward you actually see a red dragon start to take off at this exact same time oh, yikes right next to you you're just, you're just saying it's just taking off it's taking off heading towards trying to attack it Oh, okay. 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 Well, I like how far away am I? Like, You're is the right dragon the like dragon. beside me? Yeah. 
I'm going to run up onto the red dragon's back. Yeah. And see if we'll it will roll back there. Check. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> All right, uh, that's a 20 on the die. So what'd you say, okay. athletics? <laughs> yeah, you, okay, yeah. you Legolas this. You just like dance and saunter 26. up its wings, up, up its tail, all the way to a point where you find a, ho- a couple of horns are good to hold on to. And the red to dragon glory, takes off. Battle. You just hear this. With the dragon rider. And, uh, uh, yeah, what? I mean. Did the dragon just speak? Did it speak draconic? Yeah. What did it say? Death. As long as it's not looking at Briv. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, it can't reach me. It's like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, the Neolithid is immediately trying to attack the dragon with the tentacles. Uh, you can actually you take you can take the first action. What do you want to do? I, am I like? Is this dragon has it gotten close enough that I can? Att- this is a pretty oh, large yeah, creature. Immediately, right? you you ran. You were basically you were basically running. It was taking off. You climbed up it, ran all the way up its neck at the same time. This is all one action. All right, then I am going to try to poke the worm, and that's a nineteen. Okay, yeah, nineteen hits. Okay, so. Ooh, nice. What are you um, poking it so, with? The sword? Uh, fire sword. The okay. sword is on so, fire. So it's uh, kind of a flyby. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so that's going to do um, that's 7 plus 18 points of damage. And I'm also marking this creature. Okay. I'm basically yelling do? at it. What is Sorry, what was do? that? Didn't, didn't hear it, sorry. Oh, uh, what does marking do for Cavaliers? Oh, yeah. So uh, so as long as it's uh, as I'm within five feet of it, uh, which might not be the case if the dragon keeps moving, but I'm still just doing it uh, in case, I uh, it's going to have disadvantage on attacks against any other creature other than me. I feel like Cavalier, that should extend to the mount itself, no matter what it is. So, um, yeah, I... Uh, it's it's it, it's a dish. I will dish. allow it. <laughs> yes, <that's good. laughs> How nice of you. <laughs> uh, it is trying to make attack roll with disadvantage and one. <laughs> it gets a one. The tentacles, as the tentacles just kind of like swarm and fly right at that specific dragon, uh, you just block it with your sword. You just flip, 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 flip. And you, you, as you're waving your flaming sword, the tentacles just writhe away where they would have normally found purchase into the very neck of that dragon that you're riding at this moment. So that's what happens. Uh, Keen, Dan, what are you back. doing? Uh, actually, I'm on thine back. <laughs> just to clarify. Keen, Dea, Preth, what are you doing? I go you out see- of my way to make Avrin comfortable. He has much healing to do, and I am sure there's nothing going on outside that is very interesting. Screaming, noise, that is what happens when there is an army nearby. But what is important is that he is comfortable, and it is peaceful in here. Avrin, like, points at you. He hates you the most. The so you know. Who hates me the, the red- most? The red cap. What do you know about the red cap? Yeah, he came out of the blood of Saranthus. He was born in Avernus. He really super hates other Feywild. You know that guy. He's got a little red You have a giant cap. hole in your memory and you can remember the last thing that I experienced in this world? Yeah. What is his name? Okay. That's not fair. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember everything. <laughs> Everything's coming back at different rates. I'm aware. I know your name is Keen Deapreth, and uh, that's uh, that's or or uh, that's and a why pint. does he hate me so much? I think it's more just that you're from the Feywild, and that scares him. I think that's kind of the gist of the situation, really. I start to talk to him about this and learn more about my enemy. 
Well, red caps are born out of murder. And well, you, but it's tricky. It's tricky. So basically the universe is very a stickler for very specifics. So the time that you killed a God named Saranthus in Avernus, Saranthus didn't actually know who Saranthus was. So when you did that, it was kind of like a murder, but not really a murder because she was obviously going to kill the entire universe. Um, and so when that happened, you all killed her. And then that allowed for Red Cap to come out of her blood pool in Avernus because technically it was a murder. So now we have Red Cap that was born from an actual god wandering around wanting revenge on the heroes of the Vale. And uh, he's got a lot more power than Red Cap should have. Uh, Does that make sense? Uh, Does any of that make sense? I feel like it made sense. A red cap born of a god's blood. I understand. Yeah. yeah so this bad. is the proper enemy. This is good. I think you have a very uh, glass half full kind of point of view on things. I like that. That's nice. Hmm. How's everyone I think doing? About this. Dad. Okay. Yes? Have you been here? I don't know if you can remember yet. But have you been here for a while? Because there's someone who, there's someone who is either, it was either you or someone impersonating you, and I'm inclined to think the latter. Oh no, that was me. I just had, was missing 75% uh, of my brain. Where was the 75% of your brain? Being eaten, eaten by whatever is outside right now. Oh. Wait, what is outside right now? Can I can I poke my head in? Can I poke my oh. head in at this point? <laughs> sure, you can point. You can poke your head in. Yeah, so Kira would have turned around and like poked her head back in the tiny hut. Uh so an update. There's a giant worm outside. Uh, it's a bunch of us dealing with it. So I just wanted to keep you updated so that it wasn't a surprise. Hi, and I then she's gonna that. go back. You're Gotta go um, can I send a, a Griff out to help? Is there anything I can send Griff with to help? Uh, you can send Griff out to scout. I mean, like... <laughs> if there are, like, any, I don't know, acid files or things they can drop. Yeah, um, you... Just to help out. Uh, anything Griff yes. keep an eye. Help. Yeah, they... <laughs> Avrin's got a couple of combustibles out there, so um, Sweet. there's like alchemist fire he can start dropping. Okay, so just, uh, or, or handing him off, you know, helping people reload, whatever. Gr okay. Griff is okay. there to help. <laughs> your friendly neighborhood. Right. Okay, your, friend, your friendly neighborhood owl. Uh, r right. Good point. Okay, uh, Alindra, what are you doing? I'm tending to my father and trying to figure out how best to ask him about the thing that I had removed from my own brain. But I also <laughs> realized that I probably was smart enough to know that if I was going to ask to have something removed from my own memory, there was a reason for it. So it was probably something that was important to not remember. So that I was, don't know what was. to do. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you going through that uh penelope i'm fine what are you doing well i still have concentration on my moonbeam so um on its next turn i'll be okay that. Uh, how much how much damage is it taking uh it depends if we're back on its turn if we've made it around again it'll make, make another con save okay 14 and 11 it so, saves. It does save. Okay. So I'll do half of 11 points of damage. Okay, half of 11. All right. It keeps on getting burned down by the moonbeam. Come on, Keen, where are you? The whole time, the whole time you're doing this, you're like a little tiny green bush and like all these get the are running around past you and stuff. And you're just like, just <laughs> bringing down pure light, burning this thing to a cinder. And you see uh, Briv Stillmarrow just flying around. Briv, what, are, what action are you taking? Uh, the dragon itself is breathing fire. And Do we need to be worried? 
or is it being careful? Encounter builder. Wow. <laughs> uh, oh my god, that's a lot of dice. Are we getting? <laughs> yeah. <need> a dice roller. <laughs> is the dragon being careful, or do we need to be worried? Uh, well, I'll let you know in about a few seconds. Oh, I am in no danger. <laughs> I'm ready to. I'm coming back out. I see this happening. If it looks like the dragon is being, uh, it, if you it looks like the dragon is aiming in, correctly, and, and it's, it's breathing, not. It's not purposely trying to be safe, but you're not in the cone of the flames, and it breathes out 27 points of fire damage all over, the neolithid, just burning skin and tentacles and everything else. Uh, Briv, you gonna attack? Mm-hmm. I certainly am. All right, so um, that is a 21, and uh, that one is only a 15. I don't know if that one hit. Um, 21 and a 15? No, the 15 didn't hit. 21 okay. didn't. All right, so... Ooh. Um... And this is scary for you because you're like trying to super reach like on top of yeah, the yeah, dragon yeah. to like get any kind of purchase. Uh, understood. Um, so uh, Briv doesn't necessarily have the word scary understood. He thinks right. jo- <laughs> joyously um, amazing. And so he uh, he he hits uh, the dragon with that one for 20 points of damage. But I am also the new to- correct? Yes. And yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Did I say dragon? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm not hitting yeah, the dragon. Right. Wow. Betrayal. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Got you right where I want thee. Uh, no, so, dragon um, slayer. Look. <laughs> so I'm hitting the giant mind worm. And um, I, and I did 20 points of damage. And I'm also continuing to mark the creature wow. simply, uh, you know, uh, insulting it. Thou art large and slimy and disgusting uh yeah you slice one of the full kind of almost like tentacle lips clean off of it um and it falls to the ground it seems to be very close to death at this point all right i'm going to action surge okay do it do it go for that and i'm going to attack Again, that is a 19, and that one is a 16. Did the 16 Both hit? Both hit. Both hit. Oh, nice. Armor class is 16. I know it's armor class. Um, all right, so... Um, <laughs> D&D Beyond, it's so hard to lie as a DM now. <laughs> <laughs> There's cheater players. All right, so... Um, yeah, that is 17 points of damage on the first attack. And oh God. Uh 18 points of damage on the second attack. And basically, I am if I tell me how you like want it, to do this. Okay, hey! so I I realize I smell the kill. I'm on the back of the dragon. I've just attacked it, cut its poor lip off. I say something about it being even more disgusting now. And then I just launch off of the back of the dragon, sword down, and latch into the top of the worm and just ride it down the worm's body until hopefully I stand bathed in glory and not guts and disgustingness at the bottom of the worm. And the two flaps... You do so. And uh, you are knee deep, however, in guts and twitching ooze and wormy bits. Mm. And I just pick some up and smell it. (laughs) It smells very, very fishy and bad. At the same time, you see the the red dragon keep taking off and it just kind of turns its head. The nod of a creature. Mm-hmm. Briv the bilious. And the Neolithid <laughs> is dead. I explode uh, out of the door, and I see Briv. 
I stop dead, and I offer yeah. him a small towelette. You uh, you have to push the door open through the sludge and ooze. Imagine a very strong winter storm where there's about two feet of snow. That's how much guts have like piled up onto the street. There so, is no uh, need for this door to open. <laughs> as, as you hand me the little towel, though, yeah. it's all over my body, and I just take the towel and just yeah, dry just my hair. hair. That's the only just thing the that hair. happens. Yeah. Yeah. Just the hair. Strangely, uh... Uh, Averin, Averin's uh, uh, in bed and he just like touches his head. What the hell happened? The hell did all my hair go? <laughs> who, who shaved my head? Uh, you did. Is this, it was the dragonborn. It was the dragonborn, I think. No. No, it wouldn't have been Okara. Right. Oh, all right. I'm fine now. How's everyone doing? Alindra, how are you? You look so beautiful. Thanks. You keep saying it. God. Welcome home. What's been going on? Thanks. I feel like I've been missing a few bits. Mom's coming to help. You need it. I'm. I'm. Gonna, I'm going to be fine. But yeah. Um, yeah. I do the same for her. It's taking a while. You're um, very. Um, a little bit out of sorts. I, I don't. I don't. Well, I don't disagree. <laughs> that there are mind flayers running around. Briv comes back in and sits down on whatever it looks like the most expensive chair in the place. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all expensive. Uh yeah. You lean on something uh, appropriately terrible to lean on. Uh, uh, definitely a 500 year old chair uh, with ornate elven um, uh, craft in the wood and also in the uh, fabric itself so Whew, Penelope thou didst light that thing up thou yeah. see that yeah let's do it again uh, maybe not uh, right this here's another one wait what oh it's blink oh. It's, 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 it's midwinter Everyone, is midwinter. Did you know that? It's midwinter right now. Is, is it actually winter? Yeah. What? I, I, I got everyone gifts and I totally forgot. Um, sorry, <laughs> when you came here, I was having half my brainy and I like, really couldn't keep track of things. And so... Uh, has to seeing give you all again me? was disconnected and strange. Uh, but I got you all little boxes. I got you little gifts to help you on your further adventures. Th these aren't going to last forever. Please understand. Um, but uh, I made each one of these uh, for you. When? Oh, I was working on it like a, a couple of years ago, actually, until I think I became infected. Was my flares sure in particular this was hate before me. you were infected that you haven't modified them since? Uh, yes, I'm sure. Absolutely. And uh, yeah. Wait, how long ago did you say you got infected? A couple of years. How? That worm has been in thine head for two years. How yes. did you get infected? I don't remember that. Mind flares are very sneaky. If you ever think that you're out thinking them, then you're probably wrong. But in particular, mind flares hate me and your mother quite a bit. And so do you think. <laughs> what if your mother has one? She hmm. doesn't. I can't tell if we're joking or what here. How do you know? Because if well, my wife has a... was infected, I would know immediately and I would burn the entire world down. He's not exaggerating on that. That's very sweet. That's Is there... very romantic. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Is there any way to do it? We... Is there any way to stop that? Like, we were able to get it out of your head. But, and, and you know, it took a while for you to get better. But, like, if we find someone who's infected, can we save them like we saved you? Is there anything no, we can do? No, not typically. Uh, um, I was actually talking to Omen and I was trying to figure out a way. I knew something was wrong and I couldn't quite figure it out. I knew it was, there was a parasite. Tricky thing with being infected by an elithid is that it's eating your brain at the time. So if you're trying to be smart, you're probably going to fail um, because you're not smart anymore. Um, I, I, I was going to try to use a spell that unfortunately uh, one of 
acquisitions incorporated had invented called insight greed and i thought maybe if the neolith had could i mean the uh the mind flare tab hole was looking through my eyes maybe i could like put up a gem and make it super greedy and then want to leave my brain if i tied myself to a chair and i was getting ready to do all of this and then i lost most of my brain so it didn't work out oh that's an interesting spell you have that yeah, I have, I would, okay. yeah, Omen actually just sent it to me. Huh. Why would anyone want to incite greed? <laughs> no, because of course the single-minded focus. <laughs> yeah. And then that single-minded focus can distract from other things. It also can cause uh, a leader to be deposed. It has plenty of uses, but also has danger, as all spells do. Making spells is fun. I've made a couple myself. Oh, uh, so, yeah. So I'm feeling much better. Thank you, everyone, for getting the worm out of my brain. I really appreciate that. Glad to help. Wait, it- uh, did someone have a question? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, gifts, gifts. And he, like, takes out, like, he, uh, out of his desk drawer, and he's got, like, tiny little wrapped up gifts with little bows. The wrapping is absolutely awful. It's the worst wrapping. Like, it's the best attempt he can make at wrapping. Uh, this one, this one's for Briv. This is, uh, everyone, each of these items, they're only going to work five times. So just keep that in mind, and please don't abuse it. And he kind of holds up these weird armbands that look like two dragons on either side. And he's like, you just tap the armband, and then a, uh, a magical effect will occur. And uh, this one's for Briv. I thank thee. This one is for my beautiful daughter, Alindra. This is for Penelope. Don't mean this like this, right? Yeah. Briv yeah. Perhaps it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Briv. Uh, uh, okay. So. <laughs> You immediately shrink down to about four feet tall. (laughs) (laughs) I need a world that is big enough to hold me. (laughs) Still taller than me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my goodness, this is the best moment of my life. Uh, uh, Briv, you might have have tapped the wrong button on that one. I, I just, yeah. This is a dark This was a Dad, are you sure that wasn't a present for me? <laughs> well, yeah, sort of, but not Thank for you. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Briv, all you have to do is tap it if you want to be a big boy. Do you want to be a big boy? Okay. <laughs> Briv then suddenly is. 12 feet tall, <laughs> filling the entire room. Yes, that's the big size. That's the that's the one you want. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't mean to judge. Maybe... Do that? No, they don't all do that. That's Briv's in specific. Uh-uh. So uh, I will recharge watch yours. Watch the ceiling, watch the ceiling. Yeah, Avery, yeah, you're, uh, you're how literally hitting am like I lanterns. I know which place to tap. Second dragon, second, ra- second dragon for big. Uh, uh, first dragon for little. They did not come I, with instructions. I take well, a I, pen out and I mark it for him. <laughs> I write big. <laughs> I know. And then in little letters. letters, I write little, so he can see the size, even if he can't read the words. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, we all know what Bribs does now, and I need to recharge that because that's two uses. Uh, Alindra, I have given you um. See invisibility, since I know you're very big on uh, knowing the truth. Uh, just tap that, and you'll be able to see anything that's invisible. Uh, for Thank Penelope, half pint. For all things that are dangerous, even though you are strong in courage and bravery, if you tap yours, you will become invisible when you need to be. Thank you. For Keen Deapreth, my friend, when you tap yours, you'll have an illusion form around you. Your enemies will see just a blur and you will be harder and more difficult to hit. Then I must give you this. 
I did not plan for a gift giving ceremony, but our people do not accept gifts without giving them back at the same time. This oh. is my favorite bread made by my favorite baker. It is called a uh, how do you say it? A macaroon. <laughs> I have Ooh. just discovered them and there are eight in here. I will give you all eight and I hope that you enjoy them. There Thank you are so much, King. two for each season. Okay, that's very specific. <laughs> Linda, do not tell your mother I'm breaking my diet. And uh, thank you. Uh, it's not like she's on her way here or anything. It'll be fine. They're, I would eat them quickly, though. They're, they're gifts. They're you can't too. say no to a gift, even if you're on a diet. <laughs> and Okira, for, your, for you, I know how much you've been going through all these years. If you tap yours, you can change yourself. It's a spell. I mean, you don't need to change yourself. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm just saying that you can you can alter your form. <laughs> okay. How? Like classic like, Avery. Like, like turn into a rat. Like what? You you, you you tap the bracelet and you can decide like uh, maybe I want to drink under maybe maybe I want to breathe underwater or you know maybe I want giant claws or maybe I just want to not be like 200 feet tall. Well, I mean not 200 feet tall, but you know you can like. You can look like somebody else if you want to, physically. Okay. Or or just not be so tall. It's up to you. Wow. Uh, Someone uh, needs to step away from the patriarchy a bit. I, I, I didn't know patriarchy. you were so worried about my height, but okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not worried about your height, but I do feel like you should be given the control over your own form, considering everything that's been happening. Especially after the Cypriacs. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, happy mid midwinter, everyone. Thanks for killing the Neolithid that was inside my brain. I really appreciate that. That was nice. That was mostly Riven Penelope. Thou art awesome. welcome, I suppose. So. Mind flares, so, good times. So mind flares, it's a problem. They're taking over everywhere, and <sighs> we'd rather not have the entire world decimated. We can help it, you know. No, we just got it back. I detect that the Githyanki are formulating a plan right now for an attack. Uh, do, do we know if we can really trust them? Because we left them alone with Rat, and then there was this 20-foot thing, and I really don't think that they know what they're doing any more than we do. I, the good thing you're very smart, and they're also exceptionally evil. So it basically... But what no. does evil seek to do more than anything else? Pre Control. Preserve themselves. So therefore, they do not want to die. We will use them to help get rid of this worst threat, and then we will send them on their way. This is not a decision I can help you with. This is entirely up to you. I don't want to take any agency away from the heroes of the Vale. So I can only tell you what I know. She had given me the Helm of Telepathy previously. I've got that on. Um, it's sort of like a thin headband for her. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use that to see what's going on with him. Kind of check in. I, I, I have questions. With Avern? For him. Uh, actually, no, I wouldn't. Never mind. Scratch that. I, he's dad. I don't do that with him. Uh, um, it's totally up to you. That, no, I, 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 I wouldn't. It's he's just getting his memories back, but I don't want to embarrass you, Dad. But you, uh, you were that, costing out my, your memories as they down? healed. No, well, ah. that too. So you might want to fix that too. Um, 
<laughs> Especially with Brave going small and waist height. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, please no um, fan art. <laughs> <laughs> no fan art. Famous last words. Um, uh, but you he is still a thick memories. chalk. Ouch. What, sorry, what did you say, Jen? <laughs> Me? Or, or Brave? Yeah, yeah, what did you say? What What did Alindra just say? Uh it, that Averin's casting his memories out as his memory, as his mind was knitting back together. Okay, good, good to know. I should be okay now. Um, well, a few things. One, um, if... <laughs> speak what? up. Oh, did I hear what? her say brief? Have taken some food and drink from the long house. <laughs> it wasn't the yeah. long house. The long house. I was right where I was supposed house. to be. Long uh, house. Long house. Yeah, it wasn't no, that long. I, 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 I got you. Um, I don't know what that's going to cause. I don't. Mm. Yeah, I've never had anyone yeah. fiddling around. To my I know brain. what it caused was intense satisfaction. Yeah. Well, there are There's a reason for that. But there's also a reason that you shouldn't be doing that either. Why? Twas food. Others were eating it. Uh, yes. Uh, Briv, Briv, it's just mainly that you're probably on someone's radar that you didn't necessarily want to be uh, previously, but you're kind of... Uh... Let them come. Oh, Briv, <laughs> you have no idea. I don't. No, I don't think any of us So do. I shall not worry about it. Okay. I, I'd That's like to worry about it. Well, who's way. coming? No, no, wait. But this is all no. really nice. We've got enough stuff coming after us. Who else is coming yeah. now? We probably focus on the mind flares for now and not so much what for eating food that was offered to me it was not it's entirely his fault i'm so i'm sure everything I can mean, be it was out on a food. buffet a, a, a buffet <laughs> he's only read the word buff- did you say a buff- somehow that a was the word in his children's books he didn't get cat and dog he got buffet <laughs> buffet thou it's dost pronounce buffet. it buffet Yes. It's spelled buffet. Yes. Every day you learn it's something. Wrong. Every day, every every day is an adventure. Every formation is a parade. Okay. Language is ridiculous. The language I would like to hear is who's sure, coming absolutely. after us. I mean, us. our entire civilization is based upon language and communication. But yes, it's ridiculous. I just don't know how spell. wide. What? Who is coming after me? I don't think anyone's going to come after you, but uh, th- th- okay. Some of the people I used to know used to be very powerful, and and they're not going to care that you eat a bunch of food. It, the, the food may have some adverse effects, and I'm not quite sure what that does to time. So I have an iron gut. Oh uh, well, you'll need one. Yeah. You know. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think there's going to be any uh, immediate ramifications. Um, however, um, don't die. That would be my advice. I shan't. Okay, good. Because if you did, I have a terrible feeling. You, you, well, you might be working for someone I know. Briv does not work for anyone. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Not much choice in the matter there. You're not, you're not from where I'm from. And I don't work for anyone either. <laughs> but uh, I am an exception to that particular rule. Okay, well, how you doing? Everyone ready to fight Mind Flayers? Go Mind Flayer killing team. Dad, I don't know how wide your memories went. But there's one in particular that... It's likely you didn't want anyone else to see. Which one is that? Uh, it's 
Do you remember the time that Boulder showed up? <laughs> and everyone threw their surprises at him. Yeah, that has to be kept quiet. No one can talk about that again. Talk about what? Exactly. I don't know how far out that went, whether it was contained to this room or this inn or this city. Everything to do with that memory is why we have to keep quiet and we have to keep hidden and it's important that people not know that you are my daughter. Because I thought it was very smart and very clever and it was, but that doesn't mean there's not ramifications for that kind of thing. I paid for that. Is there anything I need to know? I don't know if we should be talking about this and you willingly forgot this information ahead of time. I think it just... The knowing of it doesn't change who you are or who I am. So I, do, I don't know how relevant it is, but certainly there are things about our family that are, that are a bit different because of things that have occurred because of something that was done to me a very long time ago against my will. I won't tell anyone if you don't want me to. I don't even know what it is that I am not supposed to tell. Okay, that's perfect then. Because he's always forever going to be angry at me. Who is he? Do we even want to know? Oh, I guess we do. Do you know his name? I do. And his name is Asmodeus. Those were early days. So about those mind flayers. Yeah, one problem at a time, right? I understand everyone. I was a ch I was a kid. I was a teenager. I was cocky. And uh, I just stupid. sized sized him up. Well, not stupid. I've never been stupid. That's yeah. I um, think that was at least a stupid uh, decision. I disagree. Um, Ill-advised, unwise, perhaps. Definitely not Which unintelligent. Which is basically the same thing as stupid. I don't know. You might want to check your stat block. I disagree. So specifically, yes, I found the one thing that would probably trick. Uh, someone who would be that potentially incredibly cocky into giving me a wish for free. And it made him very, very angry that he was tricked in this manner. He was expecting someone to wish that he was dead or that someone would be like the prince of the nine hills or become a god. And I knew the one thing that he might overlook was his pride. So that's why I got him on. And that's why I can never die. It's why Brave room. can't. Brave can't. We gotta worry about Brave now. Oh no, no. He doesn't care about Brave. <laughs> Brave was involved with some a family matter. He was he was uh yeah, that's something else. That's something else entirely. I what? am so confused. Well, there was the time when the gods used to live amongst uh, mortals and essentially hang out and you saw some other gods from another realm that's all and sure. you drank some of their wine you ate some of their food and it's not news right. to me how dost thou not know that maybe perhaps i have divine ancestry in my bloodline how dost thou think uh -huh. i am so strong and so mighty i think 
because you never skip out on leg day mainly and uh, I, <laughs> uh, uh those that are somewhat divine can kind of sniff it out and um well i do smell something in your brib it's not something necessarily divine i don't accept the fate that thou bestowest upon me that's fine i'm not dishing out fate today So, awkward. Awkward family conversation in front of all our friends. Does uh, anyone want a frosty beverage or maybe some cookies or something I, have, I can have cooked up for everyone? 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 Okay, no? Okay, cool. <sighs> Sorry we saw all your memories. We didn't mean to. It just happened. No, no, no that's no, that wasn't that wasn't intentional. I apologize for you seeing them. I mean, luckily, they, my memories went entirely me on the in an outhouse taking a dump. I mean, that would have been, I think, more embarrassing, really, ultimately. Mm. Yeah. No, your fly was down. Well, okay, I've always had a problem with that in particular. So, especially when half my brain's been eaten, my fly tends to get down. So, what do we do about the mind flyers? What are we doing about the? The... That's up to you. You've invited to get the Inky into to Brimstone, so if you want to go with them on uh, a battle against the Mind Flayers, but be careful because the Mind Flayers are definitely smarter than the Githyanki. The Githyanki are very accomplished at hunting them down, but understand that they are evil, and if they help you, if they assist you in this destroying of the Mind Flayers, don't be surprised if they turn not on you at the end of this. They themselves yeah, we're kind of warned about that. enslave entire peoples for their own means. Well, we have to survive the mind players first, and then yeah, one problem at a time. I'm not the immediate threat here, or any threat. Alindra, do we need to I'm wait around for your mom to get here before we go? Oh, she's going to be here soon. I've already messaged her that I'm okay now. But she's going to be here anyways. Just go back to is... That was a very long time ago. He's the... I have a feeling that will matter to him. He already, already got me back for it. So you're fine now? No hard feelings? It's not gonna come after you? you He's not gonna, gonna come after, after me, but I may come after him one day. Oh, good. Good. Well, always a good time coming home. Uh, I don't want to know what it is that I've forgotten. But just tell okay. me one thing. Sure. Why did I choose to forget it? Uh, the truth was too strange and maybe too much. Too horrifying, I guess. Knowledge isn't something to fear. Doesn't seem right. All I know is that you agreed to forget. We all have something that maybe we want to forget about ourselves or even our past. That's not uncommon for people. And certainly children should not have to suffer for the sins of their parents. While they're having this discussion about forgetting things, Akira wants to slide a glance at Penelope. Yeah. Do I notice any reaction to any of this? I don't know, Penelope. Do you notice it? <laughs> do, you, do you react to any of this? No. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Melody's spaced out. She's just looking around. <laughs> okay. All 
right. Should we go find a... a yes, that we were talking to earlier? I don't know. We should probably find someone else. That one dropped a rat. Krav Maga is a failure. We shall I think that was instead his name. seek out... I don't know what the other one's names are, but we shall seek out someone and find their names out. There and I shall definitely now. remember it. Dad, we've got... Uh, John, I, I guess we're... we've got Gith running around. We've got mind flares. There's something at the core of all of this. And we have to I find believe, out Lindy, it's... that what is at the core is the you world is a dangerous place, place, and it needs heroes. Well said, Brev. Huzzah! I, I've got the the standing stone for Germans, and should be. I could use it again. We want to call him. Wait, we want to call some other meddler. No, no Jorman. No, uh, no, Jorman, the dragon that's working with the gift. I could call him and maybe he can help us. Why do I not know not... anyone's names? That is an excellent question. And I wonder that on a daily basis. Notes, <laughs> I don't know what a note is. I thought Jorman was the... Uh, Oh yes, he is a he is a dragon. Yes. People remember what they think is important to them. So Yeah. Memory it did not important. impress me, so therefore I purged it from my mind palace. I didn't know that was a thing. Mind diamond. Dad, what's the mind diamond? Mind diamond. diamond, diamond. Mind. Are you talking about It's a diamond mind, like where you go down no, and dig it's, up diamonds? It's not. I needed sure, a bunch of diamonds. Something... A terrible thing happened a long time ago. I'm trying to make up for it. I didn't do something evil. I don't feel that was my fault, but somehow it is also my fault. It's hard to explain. I just need the diamonds. I need as many diamonds as I can get, and I have been trying to make good on something. That's all. It's That's a all diamond mine. It's a diamond hey, Ren, mine. Who are you... It's a mine full of diamonds. What spell are you, are you trying, trying to cast? Who are you trying to bring back? All of them. All of who? Who uh, is you? Is, there, is everyone not going to let this go? Because there's tons of mind flayers to fight right now. He's not going to tell us. He's just going to obscure it in some silly mystery. Because he cannot be straightforward with anyone. He promised me. He snaps his fingers. Oh. Don't eat anything. No. No, no. Don't look. No. You see, the same cottage that was in the fjord uh, is now summertime. It's uh, stormy outside and lightning and water. It's raining. And you see what looks to be a younger Avrin. No signs of Alindra. He's in maybe his 20s. And you see Sophia, who looks exactly the same age, so you can't really tell a difference there. This appears to be a few years after his encounter in the inn, and he is again chopping wood for a fire. And he's taking the wood, going to the hearth, placing wood into the chimney, and smoke is coming up. And you see Avon just sit again on this beached log, looking out into the sky. And then from the sky, these mind flare ships descend in mass. Six or seven of them, all slowly moving down the water in the fjord, tentacles streaming all mo moving towards Avrin's small little cabin. And you hear a whisper on the wind. You don't think I forgot about you, did you? I sent them for you. And then, boom, you're, all of, all of this disappears. You're in a metal, strange room up to your knees in brine right now. The air stinks and smells. 
what is everyone doing? Uh, is there any way to get out of the brine? It's disgusting, and my feet are in brine. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. You can, you can. There's like a pool that you can actually climb out of. No, I'm out of the pool. No, it just doesn't feel good on my feet. Out ugh, of the pool. Ugh. Ugh. Penelope's gonna stand out of the there. Pool, I'm not touching anything. Okay, everyone gets out of the pool, Griff. No, I, I don't get out of the pool. I mean, unless <laughs> I see some kind of threat. Uh, immediately, you start seeing a little tiny tadpole crawling up your leg. I suppose that's a threat, Penelope. We are to get out of the pool. It's not real. I pulled Penelope out of the water. It is not real. It, but Briv was able to bring the thing back, the, the food. I don't know. Can I sacred flame the, the tadpole? Yeah, go ahead and roll it. <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing it head towards one of my oh. friends. Sorry, Lindra. <laughs> Actually, no, it's a dexterity saving throw. Uh, Does it look like this is manufactured, the walls in here? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no. And there's a strange hum. Oh, no. So, yeah. If I see it uh, hitting for one of my friends. It, you, burn, it? you burn the tadpole to a cinder. Mm. And you just hear this. Yeah. Mm, and you see Averin. Uh, unconscious in the brine and above all of you is this giant brain with black tendrils and tentacles all around it. It's the size of a house. And you see all these other humanoids in the brine pool, all unconscious. And around the brine pool are mind flares and they are ignoring you at first, but the moment Sacred Flame goes off, they all turn and look at Okira and screech. And then everything blows away. And you see Averin by the ocean, by the water, in the fjord, trying to breathe. He's got no shirt on. He has torn pants. And he's just looking around, paranoid. And you see the these nautiloids go back up into the sky, and you start seeing Avern choke. Oh, well, don't worry. This is I'm going to come back for you. <laughs> I'm going to come back for all of you. I will burn it all down. And teeth erupt out of his mouth, and tentacles spew out of Avern's jaw as it elongates his skin molts off he turns purple and his eyes turn orange and he becomes a mind flare and you just hear in all of your heads he turns and looks over at you i'm not done and that's Heroes of the Veil, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this very strange episode. Uh, thank you so much, Keen Dampreth, being played by TJ Storm, Hope Lavelle playing Penelope Halfpine, Anne Bradford playing Briv, the formerly known as a bunny, Lauren Urban playing Orkara Eldrex, and of course, Jen Kretschmer playing Alindra Sarbrand and finding far too much out about her hit personal history. Wait, wait, uh, wait. Thank you so much, Before... everyone, for Kiki <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But, but I have but, to ask but, everyone one question. Okay, we're going back into the game. Apparently, everyone. One question because I, I have to ask it. Um, did you put one in me? I would never, ever, ever do that. I would never let anything hurt you, ever. I would burn the entire world down for you. Are you sure? I don't believe him. They couldn't do that to you if they tried. And that's the episode, everyone. I hope you enjoyed everything. Uh... <laughs> Oh, family issues. Uh, stay tuned for <laughs> next week's episode where I think we're going to go hunting mind flares on tops of the back of red dragons. Thank you, uh, Adam Bradford, for killing a neolithid. That was pretty awesome. 
And also, thank you for the Heroes of the Veil for getting a giant wormy thing out of Avron's head. Uh, that's much, much appreciated. So tune in next week for another episode of Heroes of the Veil. And do we have any other things? Check out the Encounter Builder. It saved my life today again. I had a giant list of monsters I had to keep track of. You, it's super awesome. That's on D&D Beyond. Uh, does anyone else <laughs> have any really cool announcements? Anyone? Um, anyone? Comic-Con? Comic-Con's uh, Comic-Con's coming up. Happening. Yeah. I'm not at Comic-Con, yeah. but I believe Mr. Amber Rapper will be at Comic-Con if you want to say yeah, hi. I'll be at Comic-Con. Yeah, uh, yeah I know. We won't see you well, at Comic-Con as well. Anything. Awesome. All right. Fantastic. All right. Thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned to a even more disturbing episode coming up next week. Bye. Oh, great. <laughs>